Hey you guys, it's your girl Cole and I'm back with another video. Back with another video. And as you guys know from the title below, this is a one year post uh, video. <laughs> you guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on, tell a friend to tell a friend because who wanna miss a video from me? I mean like who? Exactly. You guys, thank you so much for my 400 subscribers. I need six 400 subscribers and I will be monetized. You guys, we're on our way up. I told y'all we was going to make it. We up. It's only up from here. So please, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And let's get into this video. Spend my life with you. I want to please you in any way I can. I want to share my world. Don't you understand? So, I'm basically just freestyling this video because I've been was supposed to do this video. Today is May the 26th. I became one year post uh, May the 9th. I was supposed to do this video May the 1st and have it out for my one year anniversary, you guys. And that's not how things work. So, while I'm in the mood of doing this video, I just decided to do it. So, you guys, let's get into basically how I feel today. So basically, I like my results. I like what I look like when I look in the mirror, when I'm not in clothes, when I'm in clothes. I like what I look like. Overall, I do not regret getting surgery. Overall, I do not regret my doctor. Now, there are some things that I do not like, but if I had to live with them for the rest of my life, or I had the old body, I would live with this for the rest of my life. Like, I do not regret nothing. Like, I love my body. I love what I look like when I see it. Myself in the mirror. I feel like she did such a good job on my body. I feel like um, people always ask me, like, do me having my surgery make me want to have more surgery? Yes. I feel like surgery is addictive. And you guys, I feel like also I forgot to give a disclaimer in the beginning of the video. I am not promoting plastic surgery. This, If you don't want to get plastic surgery, you love the way you look, you hate people that get plastic surgery, this is not the video for you. Scroll out. Get out of here. <laughs> that way. Beat it. Go watch one of my daily or weekly vlogs or something. Go watch something else. This is not the video for you guys. But if you pro surgery, you want to know what's going on, you want to know how I'm doing, if I still survived, if I had any bad experience, then this is the video for you guys. You guys, I'm going to do another video on like the ins and outs of my experience because this video is not about my in depth story of my experience or like how I find my doctor. How I saved up the money, or if I saved up the money, hell, you don't know. For all you know, I had a fucking sugar daddy. Y'all don't know. So, this video is not about that. This video is strictly on updates on my body. So, you guys, I am going to do a body reveal at the end of this video. But right now, I'm going to tell you guys the things that I hate. I do not like my belly button. I hate my belly button. And I don't know if that's because of the way she stitched it. Or if it is because um, I waited too late to take the um, the stitches out of my belly button. Or if it's because my primary doctor did not take it out. Like, I literally took the stitches. She tells you in 17 days to take your um, your stitches need to come out. I don't think I took my stitches out in 23 days. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys my belly button. I think I spoke about it before in one of my um, updates on my body. You guys, I do not like my belly button. Is it horrible? No, I don't think it's horrible. Do I think I could put things on it to make it heal or lighter? Yes, I do. Do I plan on doing it? Yes, I do. My life is just so crazy that it's just something that I just haven't done. And that's how I know like it's not that serious because if I just did not like my belly at all, I wouldn't wear belly shirts, I wouldn't wear bathing shoes, I wouldn't um, post and you'd be able to see it. Like, So it's not a big deal. I just don't like it. That... Also, you guys, I spoke on this before. I want a boob job. I feel like my tummy tuck made my boobs go from here to here. Like, I feel like this video, my titties is sitting in the lip next to me. If you guys are from Baltimore, my titties, I feel like, is as long as North Avenue. 
If you are not from Baltimore, Google how long is North Avenue. Because that's how far I think this that's how long I think these cities are. Like I want them up like this. Like you see how you can see my body better when they up? Look how bad they drop. Like, no, I want them up. So you guys, y'all should spam my fiance Instagram and tell him that he should agree to me getting a boob job because he's so against it. Like I want smaller boobs. I feel like I need a B cup. Like, you guys, I really feel like I need a B cup. I feel like you can't really see my results because my boobs. Like, I feel like you see the difference if your boobs is up here. They don't got to be all the way up here, but just like right here. I feel like it would be so much better. So, you guys, my boobs, I feel like my tummy tuck pulled it down because they're pulling the skin down and they're stitching up right here. I, I feel like after surgery, like, after having a tummy tuck, it just brought my boobs down. So, I just want to get a boob job. Like, I feel like at first I didn't really care. Cause I was really scared of the lollipop scar. Those who don't know what a lollipop scar is when they cut your boobs like this and like that. I did not want that scar, but now I'm just like, I can tattoo it up and keep it moving. Like, ugh. Anywho, you guys, so that's what I don't like. I also don't like that I have back fat. I hate that I have back fat. And I feel like it's because I did not follow the rules of post-op surgery. Like, I feel like my results for me not to have followed the rules came out so good. Like, my stomach is not hard. Or lumpy I didn't get any um, fluid pockets like I didn't get none of that but I do feel like I got back fat and I want it gone like it do make my body look natural but no I want it gone yeah mm -hmm. I don't want this back fat it can go you guys now you hear rumors about when you get lipo fat goes places that it normally like in the weirdest parts of your body. You guys, this motherfucking chin, you see the chin right there? That motherfucking chin was not there. That motherfucking chin need to get the fuck out. Like, this chin right here needs to go. Like, you guys, I need, no, it's not working. This chin don't belong in this body. Like, I'm giving baby Professor Clump. No, like, I'm giving Rasputia no bit to fix my chin wrong. Like, what's going on? I don't like it. 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 I need to get, I said, I'm really going to try to go to the gym and work out and eat healthy because I'm not doing my part. So, I feel like if I did my part, it wouldn't be this. But, babe, baby, 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 this chin, this back fat, got the fucking gut. You heard me. Got to go. Right, so, that's so far is what I just do not like. And I, they say, like, you're, you don't really see your results to six to 12 months well baby i'm 12 months so these are my results and i i do love it big chin back fat belly button saggy titties and all i love my results like i would do it all again i would give them give her my money again now what i will say oh i also don't like my butt like it's not that i don't like my butt but i feel like i'm gonna show y'all like i feel like she only put butt at the top if that makes sense so I feel like I already had like a little cuff. I had like an Asian butt, like long and then a look. So it was like this and then like a look at first. So I feel like all she did was um, put it at the top and then put some at the bottom. But you know, fat grows. So I feel like it's shaped a little funny. I feel like it dropped some, but it's not as round as I wanted. So I'm kind of scared to get more butt because I haven't seen bitches out here with diapers on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they got, but I don't like it. Like, I don't know what option they pick, but they need to go back and try again. Because it looks bad. It, I ain't even lying. And I ain't want to talk to you like what you like, and that's fine. But I don't like it. And I feel like also my doctor is a very safe doctor. Like, she she would not do people. She was denying people. Like, she was turning people away. Like, she is a very safe doctor, and she's a natural doctor. Now, I see bigger girls that go to her, and they look like big somebodies because they're bigger girls. I wasn't really that big to begin with. So, I feel like I asked for a normal body, a natural normal body, and that's what she gave me. And Because she did one hell of a job for what she had. Like, she, baby, then worked it out. You heard me. She was on the main line. All right, you guys. So, if you saw my body before I had surgery, I did not have no hips. Like, you guys, I'm going to post a picture of me right here. And this is the day, you guys, I realized I didn't have no hips. Nobody never told me this. Like, I was late in my, in my 20s. I'm going to say 30s. Late in my 20s. 
walk around thinking like I'm thick all the time. I'm like this. I had no fucking hips. Like, I don't know who nigga I was stealing with no damn hips like that. But y'all, I ain't have no hips. So she definitely did. Like, y'all can just see sitting down. She definitely did the hips. She definitely did. Can y'all see it? She definitely did the hips. She definitely gave me the... The outline, like, she did her thing with everything I asked her to do. She delivered it. You guys, I don't have no complications. Like, it's not like uh, I don't feel any pain. That itching that I had before, I don't have that. I have not itched in a long time. Um, I had some people tell me, like, their stomachs is hard. You guys, my stomach is not hard. Now, what I will say is below my belly button, like, this area... Is numb. Like, I still can I have no feeling in this area. Now, I feel like if somebody was to pinch me, it's like, it's not pain, but it's like a tingling sensation that I feel. I still want to get my um, scar. I still want to get that tattoo. Um, also, you guys, I still have the um, scars from the light bulb. On one side of my butt, you can't see it because it's tatted, but, and that was already tatted. But on the other side, you can see it just looks like nothing. It's not even, it's not even really noticeable. And like the, um, the lipo scars that's on my back is still there. You guys, I do plan on getting a tattoo, but it's not even, if I never got a tattoo, I would be so fine with it, you guys. I sleep fine. I sleep on my stomach. You guys, I, nothing. Like my work is fine. Like, and I don't do manual labor, but Everything like it's cool. Like I don't have any like restrictions or bad side effects or any rash. Remember I had that dry like part on my legs. You guys remember that? Um, I had talked about it in one of my um, updates. That's gone. Um, the, I had like black spots or something like bruising, dark bruising. That's gone. You guys, it's literally like I'm back to normal. Like I eat regular. And I do say, I feel like, what people fail to realize, I do see a lot of people commenting, talking about, oh, you just had surgery, why are you working out, faking like you ain't, um, like you ain't have surgery. And they ain't talking to me, y'all, because I don't fucking work out. But I do see people saying that. And I definitely feel like the best results you get is from changing your eating habits and working out. Like, you don't just get surgery, you're not going to maintain it. Like, look at my neck, back fat, like you're not going to maintain your results if you're not changing your habits like so i definitely said i have started intaking more water i definitely said this weekend you guys it's friday this weekend i'll probably go tonight either tonight or tomorrow i might do like a youtube short and show y'all like i'm gonna start going to the park and running and stuff i'm gonna start doing cardio because i feel like once i start doing cardio and wearing my um chic lamb spa shop chic lamb spa y'all C H I C G L A M dot Chic Glam Body Spa, you guys. We post stop. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm making like this a sponsored video. I sponsored it, y'all. Chic Glam Spa, you guys. Location in Atlanta. We just shut down our location in Baltimore, you guys. We going to revamp, start all over. It's okay to tumble down sometimes. But you guys, if you're in Atlanta or surrounding areas of Metro Georgia, you guys, I don't know, it's Metro Atlanta, but Georgia area, you guys, go check it out. Chic Glam Spa, C-H-I-C-G-L-A-M. It's on the screen. Chic Glam Spa for all your after-surgery post-op care. You guys, I did not follow instructions, but I got my massages. My sister took care of me, and this is how I was able to get the results that I got. No cat, no lie. Chic Glam Spa. You guys, now that that's out the way, and I ain't no paid for sponsorship, baby. That's fit. I'm going to start wearing my Chic Glam Body um, Band and going to that park. I'm going to start jogging, you guys. I'm going to start eating right, meal prepping, because I want to lose some weight. And I feel like once this go like down, you see how like that, if your body go in, your definition defines more. So I'm going to start doing that and try to get rid of my back fat as well. It's not that I can do with these titties, y'all. My fiance just need to get with it and just be like, go ahead and get a size B. Because these, I want gone. I really want them gone, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all should go spam Instagram. 
and told him, like, let her get her titties done. Hundred rounds long, I just got my titties done. God. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I just definitely feel like I don't regret it. I'm trying to think of anything else, you guys. If you got any questions, people hit me up all the time on social media asking me about my body. And I'm an open book. Like, I ain't going to fake. I know a few people that be lying like they ain't never get surgery. And I don't know how because they were shaped like a bag of cereal before surgery. So I don't know how they be lying or why they even lie. But I'm an open book. I feel like the information, nobody really like, it's a bunch of surgery videos. But it was none of what I was looking for. Like, I felt like nobody was really telling the tells of the tells. And I feel like that's going to be my next video. Just laying it all out. It's free information. I had to research it. If I can help somebody else out, why not? Why not? Like, so that's why I feel like I'm going to do my next video, not the next one after this, but my next surgery video will be that, a uh, tell-all about my sur about surgery. Just in general, things they don't tell you, things you should know, especially going to the Dominican Republic, because I felt like they just vlog it. So when you vlog, when you vlog, they, people only show you what they want to see, what they want you to see. So you're not really seeing a vlog, like my surgery vlog, you see what I'm going through as I'm going through it, but anything behind the scenes or anything that I just didn't want to be discussed, which it wasn't really nothing for me, but I didn't post it. Like my surgery sister, I could have posted about her not being able to get surgery. I didn't. You guys would have never known had I not told y'all. So I feel like vlogs are like a perception of what people want you to see. Like that's how like, that's all YouTube videos are. I feel like all social media outlets are that a perception of what people want you to see so i'm going to just lay it all out you guys talk about my experience talk about my experience at the um recovery house and in a different country because different countries normals are different from our normals but you guys i'm about to stand up so i can show you guys my body if you guys have any questions or if i didn't go over something because this, this is just a short video of an update of what i look like right now a year because some people just follow me or, or subscribe to me on YouTube. They don't see me on Instagram. Follow my Instagram. Life underscore is a underscore underscore gamble underscore underscore underscore. It's on the screen. Follow me. And you guys, I'm going to put my TikTok somewhere because I don't know. I know it's Life is a Gamble, but I think it's 13. I think it's Life is a Gamble 13. I'm not sure. You guys, and you can follow my Facebook. It's more so for family. It's Milk Marie. But um, if you follow me on my social um, media platforms, you will see because I post my body all the time. I post all the time because I am just happy. I, I'm not forcing or trying to punch surgery down somebody's throat. Or make you feel bad, but this was the right decision for me. After doing some soul searching for me, this is what I wanted. So I feel like going into surgery, you gotta have know what you want, and it gotta be what you want for yourself, just what uh, somebody want for you, or because you feel like it's gonna change you. Because if you felt like you were ugly before surgery, you're gonna feel like you were ugly after surgery. You're gonna keep wanting surgery, keep wanting surgery, keep wanting surgery. And I never felt like I was ugly, but I still want surgery, want surgery. I feel like what surgery do that a lot of people don't tell you guys about is it brings out other insecurities. Kind of like an old car. You know how like when you get your old car fixed, people be like, oh, once you get one thing fixed on it, everything else start breaking. No, once you get one thing fixed in the old car, all the other old um, parts starts to show its true colors because what was really bothering in the car got fixed. So now the other things are coming out. So that's like, like now, you guys, my boobs wasn't perfect, but now that I got my body fixed, my boobs are sticking, sticking out like a sore thumb. Something like that. You get what I'm saying? I feel like if I would have never got the tummy tuck, I would have loved my boobs. But I hated my stomach and I ain't had no hips. So, um, I feel like you, you got to be healed. You got to have self-love before you get surgery. I tell everybody who's in my DM, they can ask you if they watching this video, they can vouch thumbs up if I spoke to you before. Um, leave a comment and agree or disagree. I tell everybody, 85% of recovery from cosmetic surgery is mental. I don't care what nobody say. If your mental is not right, you are not going to recover fast. You're not going to recover good. Like, it, your mental plays with you. So, I feel like, with that being said, you need to do a lot of soul searching and figure out why you really want to have surgery. Figure that out before you just jump into somebody's table, jump on somebody's table, and get up looking the same, feeling like you look the same way you got laid down.
Kind of like Shallow How. If you never watched Shallow How, watch that movie. Because that is exactly what I'm talking about. So, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Turn that post notification bell on. Tell a friend to tell a friend, you guys. Because we hit it up to 1,000 subscribers. We need 600 more subscribers, you guys. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hell, I don't care if you guys take the friend phone, you guys, and be like, look. Shorty no, be, be getting it. Like, you want to love her. Because y'all going to love me. Like, who wouldn't love me? Who wouldn't want to rock with me? Like, be, be honest. Like, I'm cool. I'm a little, yeah, yeah. I'm a little vibe for real. Yeah. Oh, you guys, before I end this video, um, I said I wasn't going to answer this question, but I'm going to just go ahead and answer it. Because so many people ask me, like, do I feel like a different caliber of guys, I guess talking about with money, try, tries to talk to me more frequently because I got my body done or celebrities? And my thing is, no. Like, the girl on the street is no. And I don't know if that's because... I never really talked to somebody who didn't have money or couldn't, like, help better my situation. So, I feel like just because you got your body done don't mean that they're going to want to talk to you or wife you or whatever the case may be. Like, do I, I feel like, uh, another question is, they ask me, do I feel like my fiance would, were to propose? Yes, I do. Like, I don't think it, it's about my body at all. Like, I feel like it's who you are as a person. Do I feel like God should I talk to me? Yes, but I feel like they were trying to talk to me before I had my body done. Like, I was talking to multiple people, talking to multiple people with good streams of income. And I'm not saying at the same time, but different points in my life. Like, so I don't think that. And when I was talking to somebody famous, the two times I did, uh, one time I lived in Atlanta and I was young. And the other time was a few years back, which y'all already know I I was telling y'all about the baseball player guy. Um, I don't know if I told y'all about the baseball player. But anyway, whatever. Um, when I was talking to them two people, I had normal body. I had a normal body. I don't feel like that. And if uh you're you get your body done and that is what the guy's attracted to, baby, he's not attracted to you. I tell everybody that too. Like surgery enhances your beauty. You're already beautiful. Surgery just enhances what you already have. It doesn't make you who you are. That's like a guy with a Rolex. The Rolex enhances you. It doesn't make you the guy because you got the Rolex. You that guy. That's like because you that guy. Like, you get what I'm saying? I got my fiance because I'm a vibe. I'm a catch. Like, I can add to him. And my fiance, he, he, he well off. Like, he blessed. And I don't think it's because of my body. Like, I don't. I don't think he proposed to me in... Three months, 21 days of knowing me because of my body. I don't. I don't. I think it's more so my mind. Like how I compliment him as a woman. As I let him lead as a man. Like it don't have nothing to do with my body. And this is so off topic. But I don't want girls to be on here thinking like, oh, she got her body done. She got a fiance. Check the ring though, y'all. Hold on. Let me fix it for y'all. Y'all. Get into it like this bad boy be straight glistening, yeah. And it wasn't it had nothing to do with the body. Now, I did do this, I ain't gonna lie, I did do a little this and a little this and a little that, that, and some of this, and it got me that. But it's like, y'all, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, y'all. No, I, I, I feel like when I first see him because I met my fiance on Instagram, that's a whole nother story. Like, I met him on Instagram, and it's so funny because I shot my shot at him. He didn't try to talk to me. I shot my shot at him. Kind of on a humble, it wasn't like that. That's a whole different story. But it didn't have anything to do with my body. So, I'm saying all that to say, you got to be a good person on the inside. If somebody wants you just for your body, no. If you're having surgery just because you think it's going to catch you a ball up, good luck, sis. More power to you. Tell me your story when you get there. But no. Have surgery because that's what you want to do because you have the money to fix something that you don't like about yourself. Or you have the money to enhance something that you don't have. Me, I didn't have any hips. It helped me. I didn't like my stomach. I was a mother of four. I started having kids at 16. I didn't give my body enough time to grow. So I wanted, that's what I wanted to make me happy. And I'm happy. I never went through, and this is how I knew I was at peace and I liked my decision. Because I never went through body shaming. Like I went in realistic. I didn't want to fix somebody. I didn't want to come out looking like Big Ange. I didn't want to look like none of that. 
Granted, I do want my boobs done, and I would take another lipo around here in my bra, but if I never got that, I would be perfectly happy. Like, I can look in the mirror and love what I look like. Half the people don't even know I had surgery unless they follow me on social media or YouTube, or I tell them. Everybody always think, like, this is a natural body. You guys, so please, 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 I'm off this, whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on, tell a friend to tell a friend. Now, I'm about to stand up, you guys, so you can see this body and what it's giving. You guys, I would say, so this is the body. This is what the body's giving. A quick little glance at the year post-op. I haven't worn my thigh high since I was six weeks, I feel like. If even before then, I feel like I was like four weeks when I started wearing my Fly high, you guys. I don't eat healthy. I do not work out. I don't drink like I'm supposed to. I haven't compressed. Nothing. This is giving. When I did follow direction, but I did get my massages because my sister does post-op surgery. We had a salon. So, you guys, this is the belly button. I hate the belly button, but y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Look how low she has my scar. Like when I say I love my scar, bathing suits you can't see, panties you can't see. I love my scar. She did her thing with my scar, you guys. You guys, so this is the back. This is what the back is giving. This is what the back is giving. All right, you guys. So from this profile, I feel like it's not as round. Like, I feel like it should could be a little rounder. Right, this part, if that makes sense, is what I was talking about. But evil or I love it. It moves. Oh, you guys didn't know. My butt is not hard. It's actually soft. Like, I don't feel like... I Like, you see it's moving. I can't twerk, so I'm not about to try to twerk on here. But it's moving. I feel like my butt is soft. Um, I can't remember how soft it was before. I feel like I always had a muscle butt. So, I don't feel like it is, like, harder than what it was. I actually feel like it might be softer. But, you guys, okay. That is, like, the full body review. Oh, I did say, did you guys see, like, the scar... From the light bulb one on my back. But you guys, I know I keep saying it, but I'm keep saying it, you guys, because we need this 600 subscribers. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on, and tell a friend to tell a friend. Because who want to miss a video from me? I mean, like, oh. And you guys, if you heard a back noise in the background of this video, that is my raggedy kids. I asked them to be quiet and to go upstairs to their rooms while I was making this YouTube video. And do you think they did that? It be your own kids. I'm here to kill, steal, and destroy for you. Take you for all you got. So, all right, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe. Again. And tell a friend to tell a friend. Because why? Exactly. Who want to miss a video from me? I mean, like. Yeah. Bruh. I want to share my world. Don't you understand?